Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. We'll have every kick of the ball for you live on EA TV. Well, just the sort of weather the fans were hoping for this evening. It's absolutely ideal. I'm Derek Ray, and delighted to have Stuart Robson sharing commentary duties with me. And it's match day one in the group stage for these two nations here at the 2023 Women's World Cup. It's Canada, and they take on Australia. Well, thanks, Derek. This is such an important game. Both sides will be desperate to start this group well. Let's hope we see some great football today. And here's the starting lineup for Canada. Well, it's a 4 3 3 with two out and out wingers, but they do vary their movement. They give width, but they also make diagonal runs in field when the ball's on the opposite flank. Their performances will be key today. And the starting 11 for Australia. Well, I think they have a nice balance to their team. A solid back four, two holding midfielders, three creative players in advance of them, and a mobile centre forward. It's a good team. And so the match is underway. Ford and a fine tackle. It's a good looking ball in behind. Magnificent defending. very effective good high pressing Ford Caitlin Ford onto Kerr excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward can they forge ahead they do and you've got to say they're good value for the lead Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal. Goal. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Fleming on to Sinclair this attack looks highly promising well the cross didn't get past the first defender Corey now here's Kerr plenty of support here and beating the defender 
to keep concentration levels high. Well, just watch this again. A change of pace, a change of direction, and a decent finish. That's a very good goal. And the ball is moving again. Well, nicely cut out. Bad challenge. And now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next. And following the infringement, a caution. Yeah, no surprise there. That was always going to be a booking. Charlotte Grant now with Gori Kerr making progress and a body in the way and the flag has gone up offside Fleming now with Sinclair Grosso now do they mean business on this occasion no foul play says the referee now she escapes with just a rebuke no caution this time Delivered into the box. No nonsense clearance. And he stopped them in their tracks. Ford. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Well, the keeper had to concentrate. And deciding to go short with this one. And this would reduce the deficit. Sinclair! A goal! Just what they needed. Still plenty of life in this match. Well, here it is again. The through ball is absolutely inch perfect. But you have to question the keeper here. It's a good finish, but she shouldn't be beaten inside the near post. She'll be disappointed with that. So there we have it, 2-1. Haley Rasso. On to Kerr. On she goes in possession. Can she pick the right option? In position. Well read to win possession back. Lawrence an Australia throw coming up Corey Courtney Vine now let's see what they can do here good visualization and execution and the problem not completely solved 
Got to it easily, the keeper. Really doing a fine job of protecting the ball. Ford firing it towards goal. It could have been awkward for the goalkeeper. the short corner Polkinghorn well, high quality defending Fleming Grosso Adriana Leon Schmidt with it now well, still searching for the equaliser, but not passing it anxiously. Well, taking into account all the stoppages, two minutes to be added on. Could be threatening. Really vital interception here. The first half here comes to an end. And the contest begins. On to Kerr. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. Can they forge ahead? They do. And you've got to say they're good value for the lead. Plenty of support here. And beating the defender. That will greatly help the cause. Now they only need to keep concentration levels high. Well, nicely cut out. And following the infringement, a caution. Yeah, no surprise there. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. Committed challenge. Kerr. Cooney cross. It might be on for them. Well, great read there to intercept. A chopping challenge, and the referee has got to have a big think about it. Well, the card is out, and it's yellow. Yeah, it's clumsy, and it's late. Definitely a yellow card. And the substitution will occur now. Perfectly positioned to take it away. Ford. Kerr. And they continue to advance. And a lot of options here. Body on the line. Oh, could be. Oh, blocked it! Grosso. Alicia Chapman. 
Now with Sinclair. Well, they're eyeing that final pass, you just feel. But then the one that fails to hit its target. Sophie Schmidt. Chapman. And that was a very fine read. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Real chance. Oh, brilliant goalkeeping. And time for the change now. And played short. Steph Catley. On to Gori. Is this the moment? And a goal to increase their advantage. It's a two-goal lead now. Well, just watch this again. It's a really good goal, but it's no surprise, is it? They've been in complete control here. Goal. So they get the ball moving again. 3-1 the scoreline here. What's going to happen next? And if you've already received a yellow card, you surely want to stay away from that sort of challenge. Rasso, Kerr, well the attacking options appear plentiful, tremendous ball played through, and a goal, they're running riot here, almost out of sight. Well here's the replay, and as you can see, this is almost perfect. Lots of curl and enough pace on it. The keeper had no chance. Goal. Not too much defending going on in the grand scheme of things. 4-1. 20 minutes to go. Julia Grosso. And attempting the through ball. Oh, nothing comes of the attack when all is said and done. Ford. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Lovely ball over the top. And that's an important intervention. And room now out on the wing. And that'll be a Canada ball. They decided that now is the time to go to the bench. And fairly routine for her in the end. And support available. Michelle Prince. No way through. 
And a throw in for Canada. Julia Grosso. Alicia Chapman. Five minutes left. Julia Grosso. Well, not hard to read that pass. Caitlin Ford. And they did have the ball, but not anymore. And disappointing for the players of the centre that it didn't reach them. Rasso. And with that, the attack fizzles out. And it's all over. The big story here, Canada lose. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, Derek, that just wasn't good enough today. A lack of a game plan, too many players below par, and not enough energy all around the pitch. A really worrying performance for me. Plenty of support here. And beating the defender. In it goes! That will greatly help the cause. Now they only need to keep concentration levels high. And this would reduce the deficit. Sinclair! A goal! Just what they needed. Still plenty of life in this match. Ford firing it towards goal. It could have been awkward for the goalkeeper. Real chance. Oh, brilliant goalkeeping. Is this the moment? And a goal to increase their advantage. It's a two-goal lead now. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. And a goal! They're running riot here, almost out of sight.